SVG's Jason Dackman here, another episode of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. I have the privilege of uh, being joined by Ben Davenport, Portfolio Manager at Arvado Systems, a longtime friend of SVG. Ben, first and foremost, uh, everybody healthy and safe in your family, on the, uh, on the Arvado team, and, uh, and where are you calling us from today? Uh, yeah, so um, first, thank you. Good to see you too. Um, everyone's safe and well. Um, we did have one colleague who um, contracted the virus, but otherwise, um, miraculously, um, we've, we've been really good and really lucky in the company, um, given that you know, we're part of the, the huge Bertelsmann empire and, and there's a lot of people and a lot of busy offices. Um, took, took some early action to get everyone home working and, and most of the company's been home working since the end of February and yeah, everybody's well and, and being productive and getting on with life. So it's, it's good. It's, to it's hear. good. Um, yeah. And where are you located right now? Um, so I'm about 50 miles outside of London, just southwest of London, um, sunny Hampshire and uh, the sun is shining and spring has sprung. It's nice to be home for spring for once actually yeah. rather than Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, totally. So look, uh, there's some challenging times happening across the board, but in our little media and entertainment world, uh, it, you know, it's it, we're we're facing some weird times in terms of working from home. Everyone's used to working in studios, working in broadcast centers, and suddenly they're trying to find new solutions on how to uh, access their content and continue to produce content from home. So on the Arvado side, how are you guys trying to help your customers? What are some of the applications and tools that you're offering them that are going to allow them to continue to work remotely yeah yeah so so one one product in particular we we've had a, a lot of interest in or, or a lot of change in the way people are using it was around um, our product which is called edit mate um, it's part of the video production management suite vpms um, and it's essentially a production asset management system for adobe premiere pro um, and we 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 launched that um in in the north american market last lab actually 2019 seems a long time ago uh, as, as a kind of package solution um, that we can put into different size environments. And we've been doing really well with that. Uh, but one of the features we have with that is the ability to add um, a streaming server, which is MPEG Dash based. Um, and that enables you to stream content from a central location directly into the editor. So wherever the editor is, you get that kind of um, full editor experience. Um, you don't, don't feel like you're working your proxies because there is full res material. Um, but you can be anywhere with that. And it was originally you know, conceived for um, these multi-site facilities where you have one central storage in one location, but you might have uh, work groups working in, in different locations remotely. Um, but of course, in today's environment where so many of us working from home, um, the, the way we're able to use that streaming server and stream into, into, into the editing client, um, of course, has a, has a great application now. So we've seen a lot of interest in that and we've been um, helping a, a lot of teams and things um, work remotely and and stay productive during this time yeah um, which is you know really important you know we, we think about sports teams what they've got to, they've got to stay engaging fans the fans are still wanting to consume content now more than ever um so to be able to repurpose them and do that on that you know remotely is, is great yeah and look with there being no live events right now suddenly that archive that content library is all that you have to work with and and you have to have tools like this that uh, allow for discoverability, right? Allow for you know exploration, uh, so that you can create some of this content from from the content you already have, right? Right, absolutely. And uh, yeah, the other the thing we launched at NAB last year was actually that this the uh, a web browser for that Pam um, to enable exactly that content discovery and uh, you know enhancing the metadata there and search on the metadata and and of course yeah that's that's what it's now being used for, which is which is good to be able to help people. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, look, we're we're in this time right now, but uh, we will come out of it the other the other end. There will be live sports again. There'll be studios uh, reopening and and such, broadcast centers reopening. But I think we all know that these productions are not going to look the same, and workflows are not going to look the same. Uh, there'll be more remote working. There'll be probably you know more need to to remote access. There'll be different protocols in the uh, in these facilities. So. How is that going to change the game, do you think, for Arvado, for your customers, and, and how you serve um, your users uh, down the line? So, I, I mean, th there's so much changing. When, when you see, first thing, I mean, we're, we're a company and we do business with people. People do business with people. Um, so the first thing that's going to change is, is how we connect with our, with our customers and with our clients. And, you know, we, we, we all miss the big trade shows, you know, uh, and, and AB's just gone and, and IBC if it happens won't be the same 
um, and, 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 and that's that. So we have to find this way to interact. So we're doing an awful lot around trying to, uh, we have a really good um, user group program um, and we're trying to take that online to stay engaged and stay and understand the challenges that our customers are facing because because that's number one for us. Um, but the second thing, I think we'll see a, a, a very uh, big change in the way that systems are deployed. So um, historically, there's been a lot of on-prem, there's been a lot of um, you know the physical project engineering that goes on on site. And, and, and I think that will change. Um, one thing that has been proof of this is how quickly people can adapt and implement things with standardized tools. We don't need to do all these customizations and things um, to, to get something that's, that's a minimal viable product or even something that's really workable. Um, so uh, to that end, I think we're going to see um, a really big speed up in the adoption of cloud and SaaS. Um, and, and I think, you know, solutions like our, our VidiNet, which we have under the VidiSpine brand, um, where people can quickly go and build up their media supply chain and, and set that up for events or set that up permanently. Um, but uh, as a service, I think we'll start to see a lot more driving in that direction because you can do it quickly, you can do it remotely. Um, and and it'll, it'll meet the needs so I, I think that'll be the second thing and then longer term i think we're have to going to start seeing the, the implementation of some ai and things that will help us um you know achieve these different workflows and keep people um distant when we need to um so one thing we've been working on with a with a partner of ours a company called um, nablet is is some automatic highlights creation software so it'll it'll take a, a soccer match at the moment um for the, for the trials we're running and, and it will detect the highlights in there and it will prepare an EDL which can then be sent over to a, a talented human to then turn into a really good highlights package so we'll, we'll start seeing smart implementation of AI and things like that to, 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 to again aid workflows Very so it's cool. going to be an exciting time even if it's a challenging one yep yeah it's going to be different I think we all know that for sure but uh, Ben we really appreciate your time thanks so much for joining us man and uh, stay safe stay well you too Jason take care for more episodes of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, stay tuned to sportsvideo.org and the SVG YouTube channel.